No, it's not clickbait. I'm really going to transform this office into this office for about 500 bucks. My dad's got this really huge office space upstairs in his house. The only problem is, as you can see, it's got that angled roof and it kind of makes the space unusable. Not only that, but he's got these set up here where he's got two desks butted up against each other and it's, I don't know, it's just not working. So my mom had the idea that for Christmas I could build out this wall here and turn it into built-in shelving with this really massive desk in the middle that he could use to the fullest. In terms of difficulty, this isn't that complicated of a build, it's just pretty involved. So what I'm going to do is make them like I would make upper cabinets for a kitchen. I'm going to make them 12 inches deep for the shelves and I'm going to make it as high as the desk in the middle so it'll be 30 inches high and then everything will flow together nicely. I'm just going to use pocket screws for everything, I'm going to use plywood and then the only real wood will be the actual face frame for the shelving. The support columns underneath the desk are actually just two cabinets we found on Craigslist that are originally Pottery Barn and we just painted over them. Here I'll show you this piece of paper, I printed it off so I could use it when I was building it, made some final adjustments to it with some final measurements just to be more exact, and then I added support pillars in the middle for this shelf that's going to be floating and adjustable. In total I got three full sheets of the 3 quarter inch nice plywood that's paintable. I uh, really don't have to do much to it besides cut it and then just sand it a little bit. Then I got two sheets of quarter inch of the nice stuff and uh, then I broke down two of the eight, three quarter inchers to be the width of the shelf or the depth which is 11 and a quarter. Then we add the three quarter inch strips on the face frame on the front it'll be a full 12 inches. And uh, so to do that I just got poplar. It paints up real nice which is what I'm going to do. And I got a, some one by two by eights. 1x2x6s, 1x4, and that should be enough. The leftover from each of the sheets of plywood that we cut down, which is about 2 to 3 inches, I would say, uh, about 3 inches, we're going to use as the toe kick to the uh, bookshelves. All right. I begin by taking the boards that they cut down for me. So I, again, they, I got two sheets of plywood. I cut them into 11 and quarter inch wide strips, and then the leftover will become the toe kick. I'm going to take those strips and cut them to length. Basically, each shelving unit requires three longer pieces that go horizontal, a top, a bottom, and then a shelf that moves up and down, and then two shorter side pieces that are vertical. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm using a jig that I made specifically for my saw to help me cross cut. That's what you just saw, that little T looking thing. At this point, since you had them cut everything at the store, it's just a lot of measuring and cutting and repeating. Here's a closer look at the, the jig I made to help me guide my saw as I cut. It guarantees a much, much straighter cut than I could achieve freehand. To join everything together, I'm going to use pocket holes. And on most pieces, I'm going to put three holes on each end of it except the vertical pieces. I'm going to put three on just the top only because the bottom doesn't need them. You'll see why in a second, but initially I did drill holes on both sides of the vertical pieces and then I realized I didn't actually need to do that. So if you see them, that's why it was a mistake. And this is why you don't actually need pocket holes in the bottom of the side pieces because the actual bottom of the shelf or the base of the shelf will be lifted up a little bit to allow for a toe kick. And so it'll be about two inches, that's what I put it at least, two inches up from the very bottom and you will use the horizontal pieces to screw into this vertical pieces.
Now that I've got the main box of each bookshelf unit done, I'm going to insert the toe kick. And that's just the strips that are left over from when they cut the two sheets of plywood. I put pocket holes all along the edge of it, glued it, and then I'm going to screw it down. But I do leave it set back a little bit to allow, again, for your toes to not kick the bookshelf whenever you get close to it. Now I'm moving on to the final sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood, which is going to comprise the main desk area. I begin by clamping a long straight piece of wood to the plywood to serve as a guide. This guide will help me cut thin strips of wood that will serve as top guides and support structures for the shelf. It's really important to have this there because what you're going to do is going to attach the backing of the shelving unit to it and you're going to screw the shelving units to the stud through this strip because it's three quarter inch thick otherwise you're trying to secure it through very thin quarter inch material. Here too is just a matter of gluing it and using pocket screws to secure it and I attach it to the top back of the shelf. Then I glue everything. I, as you can see I inserted a middle support structure where I thought would be a good uh, idea there and then also I'm going to use that to drill some shelving holes. The quarter inch plywood, as you can see, I cut to size and it fits right in there and I just glue it down and nail it with a nailer. Now I'm taking the poplar strip, I'm going to cut it to length to make a nice fit all around the face frame of the shelving. The face frame is just attached with glue and nails from a nail gun. I didn't show myself making the rest of the strips here because basically you just cut them to length. They come ready to go from the store more or less as long as you pick good straight ones without any twist and cut them to length, fit it all, glue it, and nail it. And that's all the face frame is. You can make them more complicated than that, but for this one, that's all I did. I added a vertical support in the middle using pocket screws. Then using the rest of the third sheet of plywood that hadn't been cut, I just added a piece of poplar as trim on the front so it didn't look like plywood, and just glued and pocket screwed that on, followed by some paint. Now, the shelving units themselves have a floating shelf that goes up and down on shelf pins, and for that one you use plywood with poplar attached to the front. Now these two file cabinets my mom got off Craigslist and sanded them down and just repainted them. They turned out to be a really critical part of the whole thing because we needed something that was just the right height, which these were, but they also had to be robust and be able to hold some weight and at the same time look nice. And we were very satisfied with these. She got them really cheap, like I said, through Craigslist. So it was just a matter of sanding them, then putting on some primer, and then finally putting on some paint. And all they do is sit right underneath the desk and support it all. So finally, after a couple of months of planning and a couple of weeks of working, it was time to install them. One day when my dad was out of the house, I zipped on over with the truck, and my mom helped me unload and actually install them. Here we are back to my dad's original office space. You see this long open wall with the slope above it that kind of makes that difficult to use. And then you also see how he butted a table up next to his desk to make a sort of improvised L situation. And here's the installation. It actually went quite quickly, took a couple of hours, and the only real issue we had is that we'd measured a little too tight and so some things didn't fit exactly smoothly we had to kind of force it a little bit it was about an eighth of an inch in some areas too big but you know you just kind of make it happen and it worked in fact it turned out perfectly in my opinion and here you go the finished product i am so excited with this actually whenever i finish any product i get really excited but as you can see the difference is just immense now you can see some of the cables are hanging over the edge and that's because I had forgotten to include holes in the tabletop for the cables to go through. I came back and did that at a later time. Whew, let me tell you, 
again, big project, a lot of time, a lot of uh, effort involved, but oh my goodness, I'm so satisfied. What do you think? Are you satisfied? I'm loving it so much. It's more, it's just more than I could have ever hoped so for. So this is my mom, by the way, and she had the idea. Why don't you tell what was the, I don't know, how you thought of all this in the first place? I thought of this um, probably almost six months ago, before this summer even came in, and I just thought how much my husband needed a workspace so that he didn't have to cover every surface in his office with all of his stuff. No one could even sit down when they came up to talk with him or whatever. And so then I saw this idea of just wall-to-wall -wall shelves and desk, and I came to my son here. Yes. Us, can we can we make this happen? And yeah. he never tells me no. So no, it's, we it's did a, it. It's a great idea. It's uh, I, every year I'm like, what can I get them for Christmas? And it's like, okay, gift card again. But so this year I actually could do something special, unique, and uh, I think. Um, well, that made me happy. So yeah, and I love that we could do this together. He did 95, 99% <laughs> yeah. of the work. Well, I did the build and, and, the, yeah. and the planning, but the idea was yours and the, uh, the detail work, again, from you. She also, as you saw in the video, she sanded these drawers here that are, you know, our supports for the desk and uh, painted them, found them on Craigslist and bought them. So, I mean, yeah. that they're... They're like the showpiece, really. They're beautiful. They kind of, yeah, they form the base. But yeah. again, it's just a small part of the whole project. And, we, and just a little bit of the family got to be involved in every every aspect. So we're going to sign it, I think. With yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got to sign it. But, yeah. oh, the other thing is, is that we decided to go exactly the way it is, is because the rest of the house has some built-ins, like the media center is a built-in around, just around the kitchen, around the whatever, there's, there's trim. And it's all just in this style. The only difference is, is that it's not inch and a quarter or an inch and a half trim. It's uh, it's like a one by four. Well, it's three and a half inch trim everywhere. So this honestly ended up looking like it was yeah. part of the house from the yeah. get go. Like that's what the goal. Yeah, something. it's yeah. it was the it was the goal from the and beginning. It's a scale, you know. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Thanks so much for watching and for being with us on this journey. And I hope you enjoyed thank it. You. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Love you. Love you too. Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I hope it was enjoyable and useful. And I'll see you around for the next one. Bye. Bye. -bye.